Welcome back, disc golf fans, to round two of mixed doubles at the 2024 Pro Worlds, the PDGA Professional World Championship here in Lynchburg, Virginia, sponsored by Zuka. We are Gatekeeper Media, bringing you the action once again. Thanks for tuning in. How are we feeling, Chris? Same course and same competitors here for round two. We saw the heater from both Gannon and Missy, as well as Kristen and Silver, both putting up 20 under and 19 under, sitting in first and second. So they stayed on our lead card. We're at New London for the second round. This round, though, alternate shot doubles. All the men will be playing the odds. The women will be playing the evens. This is where the scoring separation changes here, Derek. Yeah, and we do have to take note that last year's defending champions are at the top of chase card going into this round, too. Yeah, Joel and Own, no stranger to winning this event. So we're no stranger. Hole one, 395 foot, 120 meter par three. Very slightly downhill with a slope going left to right. If you can throw straight, hit that gap, you're in the money. Gannon going with another hyzer angle like round one. Catches a little earlier and flares over to the right. Yeah, that's slightly obstructed. Skipped a little straight. I've kind of had an anti-skip to it. It's going to be a little bit longer than... Silver's power forehand here pushes enough left to get himself right into the bullseye. Great shot. Same spot they landed round one. A little more tricky here for Missy. Circle two. Yeah, so like we're saying, slightly obstructed, so the straddle is necessary. Slightly uphill as well. Good attempt there for Missy. They're going to be taking the par to start, and it's looking like we're going to have a tie ball game going in the hole two. Something to remember is that these are shotgun starts as well, so every competitor is on the field all at one time. We're going to jump in the hole two. Par four, 612 feet. This one has a slight left to right, and we're going to have this basket kind of sloping up and then back down. It's almost blind on your second shot. Kind of tucked over here to the left. Very easy to end up on either the left or the right side and be scrambling on this second shot. I think this should be a little too far right. I feel like that's a really easy spot to be if you kind of overestimate how much you have to push. That one doesn't really push enough. Yeah, that might end up on the left. But should be fine there for Gannon. It's a little tricky here for Silver. He actually goes with a forehand roller. Really well executed. Yeah, from the spot he was in. Excuse me. Edge of circle two there for Kristen, so it might be a long bid for the birdie but should be able to get up and down for the par. Oh, oh yeah. nice little bounce off the tree, curling up. Yeah, Kristen just going to lay up. And Missy with the short putt is now going to take the outright lead again. A little back and forth from our card. As we are playing all from the FPO layout, so even on this MPO hole here, they will be playing from the shorter tees. Hole three is a 305 foot, 93 meter par three. Again, in the woods, like usual. Not really much more to say. Uh, Finishing slightly to the right side. This looks good from Gannon. Just something that just flips up and rides straight, landing softly. Silver showing that forehand. This is probably going to leak out a little early. Mm. Yeah, long putt there for Kristen. Kind of down into a ditch as well. Also having to resort to a straddle here. Maybe just outside 15 meters. Yeah, another par for Kristen and Silver. 
So Missy and Gannon looking to take another stroke here, Derek. How much faster this round moves being alternate shot. So it's more, more or less like two people on the card playing. Ooh, a little high. Nonetheless, the birdie on the scorecard. We are all witnesses. Tatar, two time. Hole four is a par three, 286 feet. This is the first hole that plays over par uh, that I think we've seen basically this entire tournament so far. Missy showing the backhand route. It's a pot. It's a pot. Little left. And Kristen's going to show that forehand route. And a little short. It's going to be in circle two land as well. Yeah, and it's interesting because it's slightly uphill off the tee, but then a plateau. Ho, ho, ho. I forgot about that. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't an iron leaf because it did catch a little bit. And we'll see that a little closer here. Just a little bit. Great putt from Gannon. That is a good two to grab. It's now turkey for our leaders. All smiles. Silver with a long look here. Outside circle. Ooh. Ooh. Little left. A little bit of a tester here for Kristen for the comebacker to save par. But and, no worries at all. And she does. So string of pars. Hole five, 519 feet, 158 meter. We got OB that we're flying over right now as we enter into the mouth of the woods with a protected green. We also have OB all along the left side there as well. Round one, we saw Gannon really push a flex shot. And parked it for the eagle. <laughs> Not quite the same here. Leaks out a little early with the stability. So much shorter than round one. Still a great shot nonetheless. Yeah, it should be an easy birdie for them. Silver forcing over a Ooh, forehand. That's two turns. Yeah, testing the OB over there. Yeah, that's going to be red. It's an OB stroke, and this is still a little tricky for Kristen. They're going to try to get up and down for par. Great shot, but still there's a little bit of meat on the bone. It's a circle two putt for par. Missy lining up what looks like a hyzer angle here for the putt. Yeah, do something great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just honestly, just not quite enough stability on the disc. Long putt for silver. This is to avoid any red on the card. Oh, banded here on the fifth. That's going to be a tough bogey to take as this played about a third of a stroke under par. So they are definitely mm. losing strokes to the field. So we're going to jump in the hole six. Hole six, very tough hole. Played almost a stroke over par. Par five, 955 feet. We have OB all down this right side. And we have this slight bend to the left here on your second shot. Third shot, you have to go over this OB to land on this green. No OB on the back side, so you can push it a little longer. Name of the game, honestly, is keep it as straight and in the middle of the fairway with as much distance as you can. Approach after that to get around the corner. 
Yeah, this looks good for Missy. If you push too far left, you get pinched off. And I think the second shot is where you would really see the OB come in because that right side yep. gets pretty tight as you're trying to throw a right to left shot. Yeah, something that might not stable up enough. Major misstep here for Silver. Early release, finding himself on the left side. Pretty pinched off, like you said. Leaving it tough for Kristen on her next. This is looking good from Gannon if it stables up and pushes, and it looks like, like it, it will. Does, yeah. Perfect with shot. With plenty of room, too. This should be a, oh, with a little extra distance yeah. on the roll. This should be a stress-free approach here into the green. Kristen in the wood line there with a high forehand, just trying to yep. flex it right to the corner there. Yeah, just get around the bend. Far enough on the right-hand side, too, to leave it open. That should drift a little bit. Man, Silver so good at those forehand shots. So much control, nice and straight. Yeah, the grass really stopped it up there, not really allowing any ground play. Well within range for Kristen's next putt, though. This is going to hook up nice from Missy. Oh, yeah. Barely misses those trees on the right. All right, Tatar stopping the bleeding. Not quite the bounce back that you're looking for as we see Gannon securing the birdie. seven another par five coming in at, at 643 feet 196 meters landing zone is as we pass right now you want to push far enough forward so that you have a clean look into the pretty severe ob surrounded green yeah, i would say a little more danger on this one but the distance is much shorter so as long as you can execute this first shot give yourself an easy look on your second that's a little to the left i think i it, think i think uh with a hyzer from there should be manageable this one looks really good great shot there from silver Yeah, second shot's tricky because you want to push on that right side, and that tree over there very easily grabs a disc just like that. Oh, oh no. That is... Catches edge going out. That's a tough break. Yeah. Now, Team Missy Gannon Burr did find OB off the tee on round one here. Yeah, they actually saw a lot of OB. Good thing they were playing best shot to be able to keep them. Is oh. That's going to go OB as well. So this hole showing a little bit of teeth to our competitors, and it comes in as the third easiest hole. And solid connection there for Gannon. Down range. <laughs> Smiles it out. Let's go ahead and take another look at this. Right dead center of the basket. Two big putts from Gannon already on this front nine. They're able to save the birdie. Same with Silver, saving the birdie with both of them going OB. Like I said, third easiest hole. We're going to move into hole eight. Hole eight is a par four, 439 feet, slightly uphill. A lot more trees on this hole. Kind of puts you more in the woods. Basket just tucked over on the left side, just a slight right to left. The ladies teeing off. They want to just try to get to the top of the hill there. And as we saw in round one, there is a secondary fairway off to the left. 
Missy kind of finding it. Yeah, kind of in the middle there. Right, Ooh, that close tree. shave there. Great shot from Kristen. Center cut fairway. That's going to be a very easy approach for Silver here. Scanning yep. oh, yeah. that left side, yeah. Curls up, great. I don't think we're going to see Silver run it like we did in uh, round one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. unfortunate rock hit there. Leaving a little short. Good. Solid. Good putt for Missy. So her and Gannon are kind of <laughs> leaving off where they were last round. Seven through eight. It's always interesting to see how the event progresses, it being two rounds in one day. A lot of these touring players, I mean, other than practice days, competitive rounds typically aren't back-to-back -back like that. Mm -hmm. A couple birdies for Tatar and Lot now. Back on track. And as we round out our front nine here, another par five, 780 foot, 238 meters. OB all along the right-hand side there. I do believe there is OB on the left as well. Pretty fair fairway size, I would say. You just want to get one out there, beating the tree on the early left without pushing too far straight. Yeah, and that drone we saw was the MPO, so it was a little longer. They're tucked over here on the left side near these trees, making this a little easier as Silver just keeps that one a little low, doesn't get over the hill. This is a tough second shot for Kristen. Yeah, not ideal for the run-up. Great angle control here. And this is also the part of the round that the skies started opening up. Yeah, it wasn't even on the rate. Well, wasn't on the, uh, the weather report in the morning uh, when we first started. Yeah, so we will find that a lot of these players may not actually be as prepared as they could have been. Definitely keeping things interesting. Yeah, kind of funny that it happens so as soon as we pop out in the woods, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter for Gannon. Nine through nine. Dude is putting on a clinic with his putting stroke here. Turkey there for Tatar. Wow, Derek, that scorecard looking really good. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> uh, Silver and Kristen kind of falling off here. Team Missy Gannon Burr is really pulling away from the entire field as we look. Six strokes between him with Burridge, Scoggins, Bronsley. There's still some competitors there, so it's really in the, the fate of Gannon and Missy here to see this one out. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, as a reminder, this is the Mixed Doubles at the 2024 Professional Worlds here in Lynchburg, sponsored by Zuka. Thanks for tuning in, as always, and we will catch you on the back nine.